If you live and work in the Czech Republic, you will soon learn that you can't just say this is my assistant and not specify if it's him or her. In Czech, you always need to specify a gender of the person that you're talking about and to use the correct male or female form. So let's learn how to do that. Kateřina, jsem učitelka češtiny pro cizince and this is lesson from my 0 to A1 course in Czech. Let's start off by recapping and practicing what we learned in the previous lesson, how to correctly say which country you're from. We will start strong by reading and listening to a full-on Czech text. So take a pen, print out the exercises from the link down below and let's get started. Go to exercise number one in your exercise sheet. Listen to the following dialogue and add the missing words. If you need, play it a couple of times. Dobrý den. Vy jste Richard? Jste manažer? Ne, já nejsem manažer Richard. Jsem asistent Tom. Jsem z Ameriky, ale rozumím česky. A kdo jste vy? Jste manažerka? Já jsem Lenka. Ne, nejsem manažerka. Jsem studentka ale nejsem z České republiky. A odkud jste? Jsem z Ruska. Great job. Now let's see the answers. Let me check. Did you write correctly Ameriky, Ruska a České republiky? A common mistake would be to write Amerika, Rusko a Česká republika. As we saw in the previous lesson, when you're saying that somebody is from somewhere, you must use the genitive case ending. If you're unsure why or this doesn't make any sense to you, watch the previous lesson again. Did you also write correctly jste vy? This is also important because it is the formal way of addressing someone using the second person plural. If you're unsure about this, check out the lesson number six. Now, in the dialogue, you saw that the man said manager and assistant, while the lady said manažerka and studentka. And as you probably correctly anticipate, in Czech professions, as well as many other nouns differentiate between the male and female forms. The female form usually takes a male form and adds ka in the end. Let's practice the endings and learn how to say different professions in Czech. Go to exercise number two and complete the table with the missing professions. If you don't know some of these professions, find the correct translation in the dictionary. Now, let's see the answers. Congratulations! This wasn't too bad, right? I hate to tell you this, but unfortunately, this is not quite as easy as this, because sadly, there are quite a few exceptions as there are some professions which do not follow this rule. One just has to remember that with some professions, the female form simply takes on a different ending. There are three groups of endings that the female form can take. Go to the exercise number three and read with me. First exception. Some professions change the letter C or K for CH, like for example, spievak, Spievačka, herec, herečka, politik, politička. Second exception, with some professions that end with the letter A, the female form adds a letter K in between, like this. Hokejista, hokejstka, turista, turistka, tenista, tenistka. And the third exception is where feminine form takes on the ending kyně, like Sportovec, sportovkyně. Přítel, přítelkyně. 
Jag, Jakinje. And similar but not completely the same story is there with the word kolega, kolegine. That word loses the ending a and adds only inje. Unfortunately, the only way to learn most of these exceptions is simply to remember. But don't worry, as you progress in Czech, you will slowly learn which professions follow the rule with adding only ka in the end and which do not. Enough with grammar for today. Let's dive into practice again and learning some vocabulary. Go to the exercise number three and translate the professions in this list to English or your own language. It is very likely you will need a dictionary. And here are the answers. Now a small task. First of all, have I already mentioned the name of your profession? If not, use a dictionary to find the name of your profession. After you know the Czech name, write both the masculine and feminine form of your profession in the comments down below. For example, I'm a teacher, učitelka. So I will write učitelka, učitel. I will comment to let you know if your profession belongs to the unlucky group of exceptions. So, good luck! Well done! For your homework, complete the homework section at the bottom of the exercise sheet. I've prepared several exercises where you can practice talking about the professions of different famous people and jump over and complete this lesson in the online vocabulary app to practice all of the vocabulary from this course. You can do this on the laptop or on their amazing and interactive mobile app. I hope you are enjoying learning with me. If you're liking the lessons, then please, number one, smash the like button, two, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and four, do your homework. That will make my day and help us reach our goal of helping every motivated foreigner in the Czech Republic learn to speak better and more fluent Czech. If you want to keep in touch, find me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you would like more help and personal assistance from me on your journey to Czech fluency, then check out my Patreon as well. I will leave a link in the description. Keep learning, keep studying, and I'll see you in the next video. Měj se hezky, díky a ahoj.